So this is a Remington 870 pump action shotgun. It's uh, one of the most common ones out there. This one is the Express model, so no frills. It actually it started out with a longer barrel. This one has been chopped down to about 18 and a half, and then a removable uh, choke has been added. There was a bead up front, but it looks like it fell out. It's got the wood forearm and stock and it's just been modified a little bit by running one of these old side saddles with the elastic and then there's a cutout here in the pump so that it can clear the side saddle there it used to wrap around quite a bit over the receiver the stock has one of these elastic uh, shell carriers as well and these work by just holding onto the shell and you just put it on the opposite side so I'm right handed you can see there's a problem with it there I'm right handed so it's set up so that the shells are on the other side from my cheek if for whatever reason I needed to pull it over to my other shoulder though they're not really in the way too bad but you can see after the years the elastic kind of gives out even when I don't use it all the time this is my hunting shotgun so it just gets used for bird hunting a couple of times a year and over the years the elastic has pretty much died anyway and it starts to uh, fray here I had to pop a little hole in it to uh, let the sling come through so when I put the sling on here when I'm hunting it uh, has a place to come through but it also keeps it from sliding up and down uh, it never slides that way but it'll slide this way quite a bit and that kind of keeps it in place uh, but you can see where after it got a little loose I ended up putting a second hole there that also brought the shells up a little higher on the stock but it's just falling apart so it's time for it to go so instead of replacing it it's a one two three four five shell holder instead of replacing it with another piece of elastic although that would probably last me quite a few years um, I'm just gonna remove it completely and I'm going to switch out the stock from this the wooden stock that it came with to this speed stock speed feed and it has the ability to hold shells in the stock pretty easy to get them out let's see if it works with the longer 3 inch shells Nope. Can hold one three inch and one of the two and three quarter. You just sort of peel it off the top there, I guess, and it drops it right in your hand. Same thing on the other side. Oh, but this one's even shorter. Looks like it'll only hold two of the two and three quarter. And again, you would just come over, I guess, pick it free. It's in your hand. It really pushes it into your hand pretty fast on that first one. I've never used one of these. They retail, I don't know, somewhere around 80 bucks or something probably. They've been more expensive than I've ever wanted to pay for them. However, a friend of mine is trying to buy a SCAR so uh, he's selling off everything he doesn't need and this is one of the things he didn't need I guess so uh, I grabbed it pretty cheap and I figured I'd check it out on my shotgun I'm gonna weigh it and see what it weighs compared to the wood stock but otherwise it's the same physical size I'm not changing the physical length of pull or anything uh, I guess it's a little softer rubber but I'm a big guy so this 12 gauge really doesn't bother me too bad um, so I'm really just doing it to have a couple of, you know, basically four rounds in the stock as opposed to my five and just a little tighter package. First thing to do is to remove the butt pad. We're going to have to do it on both of them, but it's pretty much the same way on both. There's usually some sort of hole or sometimes it's like this and the hole gets kind of covered up because it's formed so that you don't see the screw. But you just push the screwdriver down into that hole 
and you can meet the screw there and back it out and you can see how the screws are going to stay in there you know sometimes when these haven't been removed very much or at all these holes can be almost kind of hard to find because they're just little tiny holes once you pierce through them with the screwdriver though you can unscrew the screws that hold the the uh, butt pad onto the wood stock then we have a long hole here to a, a big screw down there that basically comes out or that comes up this way and into a nut that comes out of the receiver there and you really need a long screwdriver to get in there oh it's just gonna come right off here and now this screw can just fall out so the way this one was stored and the way most people store it is you put your screw back into the hole there and then you just screw the butt pad back on and it stays together in storage like this you can hear the big screw in there so it's basically just putting it back on the same way Okay, so it's all installed now. The rubber's on. Seems pretty strong. A little softer than I'm used to, but I guess I'll get used to it. We've got the place for two shells down here. On this side, and then two of them on this side. So the idea is you could carry a couple of slugs on one side, maybe some, you know, specialty ammo on the other and quickly feed them from the stock up into the gun. From the stock into the gun. Okay, we're taking a look at the weights on these. We'll start out with the wooden stock, standard wood stock. Looks like it's about one pound, five ounces. If we look at the speed stock, one pound seven ounces so only two ounces difference between the two this one can hold the speed stock can hold four rounds where the elastic carrier on the wood stock can hold five so that's what it looks like now with the stock on it the biggest difference I can tell is that there's sort of a pebble texture or leather texture here and it's plastic so it feels a lot different in the hand than I'm used to with the wood and it's uh, sort of simple uh, checkering so uh, about the same size maybe a little bit narrower here I think it'll work great for bird hunting and I don't really mind the two-tone look with wood and polymer uh, eventually I might go with a polymer fore end but I'm so used to this for hunting that it probably won't even bother that's the speed feed stock for the 870 shotgun thanks for watching The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.